Hey guys, so today I'm going to give you a tour of my two bedroom element camper and this one is a really simple build. There wasn't that much building I needed to do, but it's really flexible for people that still want to use uh, their element as their daily driver because all the back seats are intact. I didn't take any of them out or anything like that. So it's really flexible. So you could just continue with your daily life and on the weekends you could load it up as a camper. So let me show you what I did to it. First, let's take a look around. You know, I put in these uh, fog lights or road lights, whatever you want to call them. I have that roof rack. And you can see it, it's actually quite spacious. It's not a big SUV. And this is the bulk of the building I did back there, and we'll go over that in a second. All right, you can see it's pretty simple. Um, first of all, let's start off with this refrigerator armrest we have right here. And this is really handy because it's not just an armrest with cup holders. It's a refrigerator and it's pretty deep. And you can see it fits really nicely in. There's also some USB ports, cup holders. And the nice thing I did was back here, you can see I built a platform to put it on. And the reason for that is first, you know, I have some drawers that I could have storage right here. And the platform allows me to pull the refrigerator out. All right, so it's on these drawer slides and you can see it pulls all the way back so that if you're back here, you can pull it back and you can access your refrigerator really nice and neat and it slides back. A really uh, important feature of this sliding option is, is that it allows me to access my brake handle. You can see I built that box around my brake handle, that storage box, so I can still use my brake handle, uh, my, my parking brake, when I need it. Otherwise, it would be covered up by the refrigerator. So that gives me the flexibility to still use that parking brake. And at the same time, having the luxury of this uh, refrigerator here, there's even some USB ports back there. And this slot, you can see I built around that handbrake and you can have extra storage stuff under there. So I really like this. Um, it's called a Bodega Cooler brand, but it's a refrigerator. It's a real refrigerator with a compressor, not just a cooler. Okay, so I upgraded the stereo to this CarPlay deck so that you know, I could have GPS and CarPlay. Uh, the old one was just a, a CD player, but uh, I upgraded this. So, you know, having CarPlay for GPS is great. I really recommend it. Um, down here, I added these USB ports because uh, this element is pretty old and it didn't come with any standard USB ports. So I added that. So that's really all the mods I did up here up front. You know, phone holders and things like that. No big deal. Okay, so when I do go off-roading, sometimes it is dark. I do have these uh, off-road lights that I have installed and some brush guards. And that's not really a big deal. <laughs> so for those lights, I have this switch right here that I installed. Okay, so the element doors, they all come with these nice storage things. So you know, I keep my first aid kit there. And I'll be stocking it up with more with insect repellent and bug spray and things like that. It's like a... Uh, bear horn coming back um, so in, in the back seat you can see there is a divider here and you're gonna see where that is key but again I kept the original seat so this is gonna be part of my bed and we're gonna take a look at that in a little bit underneath there's absolutely still storage room and on this side I have a table and an inflatable bed we'll show you that too all right so as I mentioned a key component to this build is that it's it's a normal daily driver. The back seats are still here. Take a look at these this table. And I used this table on my previous build too, and my previous camping trips. And these are great and they're really compact. They store really nicely.
And there. You got a nice little camping table that stores underneath the chair. All right, so back here is when things get very convenient. And this is what the, the bulk of my build is all these two boxes right here. And these are key. Let me show you why. So here is my, my storage. This is my gear storage. You know, I got uh, my air compressor, you know, axe, uh, straps, knives, toolbox. So this is a nice little area to store all my uh, assorted junk. And here I have my power system. You can see that I have a 2000 watt power inverter, um, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. I have these two chargers here, and there's two chargers. So I have one charger, and these are Bouge RV uh, solar charge controllers. I have one charging this battery, and the smaller one I have charging my car battery. So it's always nice and fresh. I don't always drive this car too often, so uh, I don't need a battery tender because I already have one back here. And I'm using one solar panel to, um, to charge both batteries. It's just on a splitter and it goes to both these battery chargers. And up here is a 200 watt flexible solar panel. This is by the same company, uh, Bouge RV also. Uh, so you can see it's a flexible solar panel. And I know some people actually even tape this to the top of their cars, these types of panels. So it's 200 watts. It's pretty big. And yes, it's in my rack because it can handle some weight. Uh, I can put some weight on top of it. It's going to be okay. But you know, I could also store stuff back there. Uh, if, when I do carry things back here, it's actually very light, like um, kayak paddles and fishing rods and things like that. I, I don't carry big items back here, so that's going to be fine for me. But I also have this Vivor canopy, and I'm going to show you guys that in a little bit after we're done with my power system. My power system, uh, again, I told you there's a 2,000 watt uh, inverter it's this amp peak inverter and I also keep an extension cable so that when I want to uh, access the plugs you know somewhere outside I could just pull out the extension cable plug it in there turn it on and uh, I'm, I'm good to go and I got power and one nice thing about this inverter is there, there's actually a battery uh, monitor on that. So that's pretty cool. All right, turn that off. Power back. So, and I also have these ports here. You can't see them so well. But these are... Um, it's a USB port and it's a cigarette uh, power port. And USB is over here. And you can see by the display, there's also a battery monitor on that too. So I could have a DC power right here. And you can see I did cut this notch out of my box to accommodate uh, accessing those things so that uh, we can access it still. Okay, coming over here to this side is my kitchen box. This is really neat. Let me show you. So I could cook on it like this, or I could turn it and have it a nice cooking counter like that. Or I could just pick up the whole thing and take it to wherever I need to go. And all my kit is here. It's a little sloppy right now, but you know, here's room for all my spices. I got some small pots here, a bigger pot here. And this is my frying pan. You can see I don't have to deal with the handle because there's a removable detachable handle like that. So it doesn't take a, you know, it's going to be hard for me to store a pot with the handle. But with a detachable handle like this, I don't have that problem. And these are pie tins. If you never use pie tins as plates for camping, you should really consider it. They're, they're cheap. They're durable. And they last. Just put things on top of each other. And, and this this pot, again, it's from the same pot kit. So it, it does also attach to the handle. These pots are a little backpacking pots. If you, you if I want to take, you know, a little road trip or something. Uh, if I want to take a hiking trip or something, I'll take this. 
So I'll leave it right there. This this seasoning, it's a little bit taller than the others, so I had to you know, just put it right there. Uh, but if you get these size, it's going to work perfect. This guy's a little bit tall, and, and it hits the top of this guy, and that's why he's not sitting there. But, you know, this works great like that. Turn it off and release the gas. So this is a really handy kitchen kit. I used it the other day and it worked great. Uh, extra fuel. And it stores nice and neatly right there out of the way. And if you look at the, the size and the height of these boxes, that's very important for my next demo because these chairs are going to fold down as the bed. So let's do that. So the Element has this really nice feature where the chairs fold down like this. And you can see it's really close to a bed already. And because of that, I'm going to be able to make two beds in my two bedroom. And you see the two boxes that I built. It fits perfectly on top of the boxes. And this partition, you're probably wondering what that was for, but now I'm going to slide the partition, go to slide the partition to create my second bedroom. And let me show you what that's going to look like. Okay, so for the beds, the element has this feature where this seat will fold back like that. And you can see it's almost a bed. Not quite a bed, but it's almost a bed. And the reason why it's almost a bed is because it's not, it's not really level. For instance, right here, there's this little lump here. Let me show you my fix for that. All right, you don't want to be sleeping in a little hole right there. So I have this this pillow uh, case stuffed with um, with with bean bag stuffing. This has bean bag stuffing, so it actually forms right around the shape of um, that little hole. So this is going to give me a nice flat surface for me to sleep on. Uh, with this with this uh, seat cover I have you can see how this this part is elevated up for that backrest so it, it actually works nice to level out the seat and for the bed I have this trifold mattress right here and I'll leave a link in the description for all the things I have in this scamper build And you just set up the bed like that. And you can see there's plenty of room for me. So I'm going to set up the same thing on this side for my second bedroom. Again, I have another one of those pillows that's filled with bean, bean filler material, bean bag filler material. And on, on this side... I'm going to use an inflatable mattress just because it's more compact than the foldable. Just to show you guys, you could use different options, but you could see the inflatable mattress is very small, stores away really nicely. You could use either options. I, I prefer um, foam mattresses because they're a little bit more comfortable, but you can't beat how well inflatable store. So let's set this one up with the inflatable. laid it out and let's go get my my compressor all right remember my storage area I have this compressor here this is a tire compressor and a, um, a air mattress inflator it'll inflate uh, stand-up paddle boards and things like that too not just air mattresses but there's a setting for for your mattress and a setting for your car.
So that didn't take too long to pump up at all. All right, so the inflatable bed is up. My uh, foam mattress is ready to go. So let's put on the sheets and demo the bed. All right, so let's take a look at the two bed setup. And you can see that divider really adds a little extra uh, privacy for the two sleepers. Take a look at down there. There's plenty of room and a space in the front area for you to, you know, get in and out and just to get ready in the morning, things like that. But I got something to add even more privacy for the two individuals. Let me show you that. So what I have right here is some drapes, I guess you could call them, that goes in between the two. So let me show you how that works. I'm just going to extend this rod. Okay, so up here I have uh, this Velcro strap that I have to rest one side of the rod. And let's go to the other side. So this side, there's just a, a case that I can rest this inside on. And now, you see I have two separate bedrooms. Climb in. And you can see this person has quite a bit of privacy from the other, not just with this wall right here, but with the curtains. And of course, you can still talk to each other if you want. But with that extra security, uh, with that extra privacy, you know, you really get to uh, kind of do your own thing and be really <clears throat> decompressed for the night before you go to sleep. Of course, you, you can sleep on this side too. All right, so here's the way it looks from the back side. Plenty of uh, privacy for two people that, you know, aren't couples. You're traveling two people, camping two people. They're not couples, so you really don't want to touch each other. And this solid board really prevents that. I mean, I could have just the curtain, but this board is really better separation if you don't want to touch each other than just the curtain. And up top... And here, you know, here's some space if you want to get ready in the morning or something like that. You could just sit up like this, you know, get dressed, get your shoes on, you know, put on your contacts, whatever you need. You could do that right here if you don't want to get out of the car. There's a little bit of space for that. All right, so I brought everything in to set everything up, but now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when we're traveling and you're packing up for a camping trip. So when you're traveling, you probably need the seats up and then you got to bring in this bigger mattress if you don't use two inflatables and put away the curtains. And this is how it looks. So this is with, you know, one one mattress and one inflatable. If you go two inflatables, it'll be even smaller. And you remember the inflatable is underneath this chair. You can see how it'll be even smaller if you go two inflatables. And there'll be travel pillows for the people sitting in the back. All right, one last thing I said I'd show to you guys is this Bevor canopy. It's a budget canopy, but it's pretty nice. It packs away pretty neatly. All right, and now you got your canopy. It's a little tricky to set up by yourself, but it's doable. So that's the full tour of my two-bedroom Honda Element camper. And remember, it, it's really easy. It actually travels four. The other two would just have to sleep in a tent, I guess. Um, but you can easily turn it back into your daily driver by just removing the mattress, basically. That's it. Everything else is good. It's got solar panels to keep the batteries all topped off all the time. So let's go camping.